mama, why would you say? You say you talking to me like your new babe. Girl, you talking like you trying to do things. Now that pipe gotta run it like she Usain, baby. You made me drown in it. Ooh, touche, baby. Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy Josh, and I'm back with another video. Here to tell you guys about last week that the draft is finally over, and my final thoughts, my perspective, what did I think about the draft, and what actually went on if you guys didn't follow up. So, without further ado, we're gonna get right into it, guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. So, if you do, hook your boy with the thumbs up real quick, and let's get right into it. Alright, guys, so a couple days ago, or almost a week ago, we actually finished the draft, which was round four, five, six, and seven, which honestly, I think we did really good for this year's because 2015. I don't know if you guys heard, but it was a complete bust. It was just like horrible. So I think from this year to that year, we did a really, really great job. And I can honestly say that Brian, the new GM, did a really great and amazing job at this draft. He actually went to where we needed to go. And again, that was the corners. That was the defensive backs. That was the safeties that I know HaHa -ha is a great uh, safety and so is Jones. But again, we can always use some extra help because we didn't really have corners guys and we let go of Morgan Burnett and we let go of different players that are really meaningful to the team so I'm actually happy that we drafted some really good corners so for round four five six and seven we actually went out and got an O-lineman which I think he is a guard but I think he, they're going to transition him to a tackle um, because Bulaga again he's just not accepting that pay cut so I'm pretty sure we're going to be releasing him soon and it's really sad and unfortunate for him to go but hey again this is a business guy so it is what it is we actually drafted some wide receivers and one of them that I actually wanted to get was, uh, I think I'm saying his name right, Equinemius St. Brown. He is from Notre Dame, and I've seen his highlights. He's really great. So I really hope that he can step up to the plate and kind of be like maybe another Devontae Adams or another Randall Cobb because, again, Randall Cobb is just a slot receiver, but you can always put him in the wideout. And also, Devontae Adams is a wide receiver. He's really fast. He's really good with his hands. He's good with his foot techniques, his hand techniques. Everything's just great about him. So hopefully, if we actually put him in there, then maybe he'll be doing good. But again, those last rounds are usually more for special teams. So guys, really quickly, I'm going to tell you which players we drafted in rounds four five six and seven which i honestly again think that we did a great job so here we go with all the names we're gonna go with wide receiver jamal moore offensive line cole madison i think i'm saying the names right uh we got a puncher jk scott which he's from alabama if you guys did not know alabama is my college team but anyway continue we went with marcus valdez scatling i think i'm saying his name right now obviously equinemus Sam brown we went with d-line james looney we also went with long snapper Hunter Bradley and we went with an edge Kendall Donerson. I hope I'm saying their name right again because I don't want to say anything that maybe I'm mispronouncing it and I don't want to disrespect nobody. So I hope I said their names right. But guys, that's who we drafted. And again, I think that we did a pretty good job this year. And I'm really excited to see what they have in store for us. And I hope that they bring their A game. Now, those are all the players that we drafted for this year, which again, that was really great because we needed those corners and we needed some wide receivers, especially because we let go of Jordy, which I don't still understand. But again, that's that's just how it is and honestly guys i'm really really happy with what brian did so this is just a draft not to mention we still sign people from the undrafted free agency which again that also helps and i don't know if you guys kept up to date with it but we actually did sign more cornerbacks more safeties and more on the defensive side so i really hope that this year is our year and i really hope that everything that we are aiming for which is super bowl we actually get to get there Aaron Rodgers needs more rings more help and more defense and more weapons that he can utilize because again like how he said even if you have c minus receivers you can always turn them into a b or an a so i mean with his type of arm you can always count on him trying his best and always going out and throwing that ball regardless of what type of receiver he has you know that he can always just make him to an a plus or even maybe just a b but i know he's gonna try for an a which he always does so honestly i feel really really happy with what we did and again if you guys don't know who we drafted in the unsigned free agency then you guys go ahead and check it out because we drafted really good players and again, we had a lot of help on the defense side. So I hope with this new defensive coordinator, he goes all out and he does his best because again, he needs to help Aaron Rodgers. We need to help Aaron Rodgers because the team has just been crap in the defensive side and offensive side we've been really good but then again last year we got injured so again i really hope that this year is our year and i honestly think that we have a chance because our defense is looking really really good and i hope that you guys think the same thing but that's gonna be it for today guys i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did hook your boy with a thumbs up real quick and let me know in the comment section down below what grade do you give our team with this draft because to me i say an a 
I say an A because we drafted good cornerbacks. We drafted some DBs. We drafted some safeties. We drafted some D linemen. So I'm really excited to see what this year has to bring. So I'm excited for that preseason because that's when all the new players and all the people that we drafted, we get to see who's really good and who is worth it, who is not worth it, and who we're going to cut, who we're going to keep. So I really look forward to this preseason. They're going to get started with their training, and I'm pretty sure they already are. So I'm excited to see what they have. But in case you didn't know who the hell's person is, it's your boy Josh. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Thank you to those who are subscribed and just joined the family. Thank you guys so much once again. And share this with anybody who is a fan, who is your family member, who is a friend, who anybody that is interested in the Packers or just want to see my thoughts. Share this with them. Again, like it, subscribe, share it, whatever. Uh, you guys know the deal. But it's all good in the hood. And I'll see you guys next time.